Hi everyone! Welcome back! Today we'll be learning all about the five oceans. It's going to be so much fun. Let's go! Approximately 71% of Earth is covered with salt water. We call this big body of water an ocean. This big ocean is divided into five smaller oceans, even though they really are just, well, one big body of water. These five oceans are mostly divided amongst the seven continents of Earth. These are five oceans on our planet. The Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Southern Ocean, or the Antarctic Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean. Before we learn about the different oceans, have you ever wondered why the water is blue or transparent? Water is blue because it absorbs red, yellow, and green light, but scatters blue light. The reason a small amount of water appears clear or transparent is because not much light is scattered. Hmm. In larger bodies of water, like oceans, there are more water molecules for light to collide with, resulting in more blue light being scattered. Now you know why oceans are blue. Next, we'll be learning about the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is the largest and deepest ocean. Its deepest point is the Mariana Trench or the Marianas Trench with a depth of approximately 36,200 feet. It separates Asia and Australia from North and South America. There was a Portuguese explorer named Fernand Magellan who named this ocean the Mar Pacifico, meaning peaceful sea in Portuguese. The largest island here is New Guinea. Next, we'll be learning about the Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean is the second largest ocean in the world. Europe and Africa are separated from North and South America by the Atlantic Ocean. A very famous current, the Gulf Stream, that happens to be a warm current, flows in the Atlantic from the tip of Florida to the coast of the U.S. and finally towards Europe. This current has a huge impact on the temperatures in the U.S. and Europe. The Atlantic Ocean gets its name from the Greeks, who called it the Sea of Atlas. Columbus traveled across the Atlantic Ocean to discover the Americas. Next, we'll be learning about the Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean is the third largest ocean in the world. It is located to the south of Asia and India. It is the warmest ocean in the world as it is closest to the equator. It separates Africa and Australia. Hmm. The deepest point in the Indian Ocean is the Java Trench, which is about 23,812 feet deep. Wow. The Indian Ocean has some of the world's most important waterways. The Suez Canal that connects the Red Sea and the Mediterranean Sea. The northern part of the Indian Ocean is the most important trade route for oil, home to many endangered sea animals like turtles, seals, and manatees. Next, we'll be learning about the Southern Ocean. Also known as the Antarctic Ocean, the Southern Ocean is the fourth largest slash second smallest ocean. 
It is the youngest ocean in the world, formed only about 30 million years ago. The deepest point in the Southern Ocean is the South Sandwich Trench at a depth of about 23,000 feet. Icebergs are found throughout the year, but during May and October, strong winds often break these icebergs and it becomes very difficult to travel. The person that came to this place first was Ernest Shackleton, but only a bit far. Roald Amundsen was the first person to reach the South Pole. Antarctica is home to the emperor penguins, elephant seal, the heaviest and biggest seal, and albatrosses, a kind of bird. Next, we'll be learning about the Arctic Ocean. The Arctic Ocean is the smallest ocean. The deepest point here is a Lidke Deep, which is 17,880 feet deep. It borders the Eurasian and North American continents. The Arctic Ocean gets its name from the Greek word Arctos, which means bare icebergs are found throughout the year. Due to global warming, the icebergs are constantly melting in the spring season. Fridjof Nansen was the first person to cross the Arctic Ocean and reach the North Pole. A very popular tourist attraction is a kind of northern lights known as the Aurora Borealis. Let's learn some fun facts about the five oceans with me and Nika. According to the Ocean Service, man have explored less than 5% of Earth's oceans. As researchers strive to discover more, we are continually getting to know our oceans better. Amazing! Earth's longest chain of mountains, the Mid-Ocean Ridge, is almost entirely beneath the ocean, stretching across a distance of 65,000 kilometers. It is said that this mountain chain is less explored than the surface of Venus or Mars. There are more historic artifacts under the sea than in all of the world's museums. Around 1,000 shipwrecks lie in the Florida Keys alone, some of which are within the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary. Other underwater museums have been created in recent years, including the Mediterranean's submerged bronze statue, Christ the Abbot. Not only does a large part of the planet exist beneath the ocean, so does the United States. In fact, 50% of it. I learned so much today about the five oceans. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all next time. Sayonara!